My bad, that's all me. I'm sorry. This time I, uh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't turn on the uh, Wi Fi. So I decided once I have it all set up, I can't see in the phone anyways. What's the point? And apparently, I can't turn it off once it's turned on and recording. At least I haven't figured out how, at least, yet. So, just turning it, not turning it on in the first place, since I'm not using, I'm using it except for the setup, and making sure everything's running right, would save the battery, when this is still, everything's running right. I'm gonna pass you. I'm gonna fucking pass you. I'm gonna cut you off. What the fuck you wanna cut me off for? Just go around me. You can't. I need to get to this next red light at 50 miles an hour. What do we have to go 50 miles an hour there for? So dumb. I mean, if we're on the freeway, I get it. You know, there's no stops. You just go. But the fucking street. There's a stop sign, there's a light, there's an intersection, there's other cars. This guy's like, I gotta get around you. Mm. And then once you get far enough ahead, they're like, okay, I give up. It wasn't that big a deal, I think. And what the fuck was the point of all this dumb shit stuff in the first place? That guy from, uh, I think, England or Australia. I can't believe I watched that video, and the very next time I go out, I have that problem. And I'm like, he just told me how to fix it, and it worked. I gotta look him up again somehow. And thank him. Which is actually what made me think, yeah, I can do something to help people, maybe. That might be nice. Make yourself useful. I think that one of the things I'm forgetting is that hanging with my knees because I'm so used to riding a bicycle on two wheels and which one you don't do because you, there is no tank there's nothing to grab onto just different enough to get wrong but similar enough to feel like you know, you should just grab the bars like you do with a bicycle that's not correct. You should not be driving the bars to stabilize yourself over rough terrain. You should be 
grabbing your knees, the, the tank with your knees. And your hands should be loose. You don't want to feel those heavy chunks and impacts up through your arms. Because that's going to also turn the throttle on and off as your hands bouncing around. This makes it even more unstable and twitchy and weird. Let the bike do its job. Get out of the fucking way. Yeah, for example. <laughs> yeah. That was a little bit bumpy. Another thing is you can watch the vehicle in front of you. Okay. <laughs> Good idea to keep your eyes on the vehicle in front of you. And uh, when they bounce up and down, likely you're going to do the same thing right behind them. getting used to it because all the roads are fucked up. <laughs> but here for example, oh shit. But uh, I've just been practicing, you know, riding loose. Makes a whole huge, huge, huge difference. Elvary Theatre. Oh good. Black car turning and a dumbass crossing in the black. With wearing, <laughs> with wearing black at night, all against the red, all against the red for them, for them. Everything completely illegal. Well, as they often say, at least one of us was paying attention. my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I almost had an accident myself. The motherfucker! Don't get up on me like that! Shit! You just went at 35, you could have just coasted all the way through and clear on through. So dumb. Like, see? Well, you didn't have to stop if you've been going at 35. They had to run over here at 40, 45. <laughs> and the guy behind me is like, I'm I gotta get in there. Oh, see? It's a red light now. It's, it's yellow. You're not gonna make it. What's the point of rushing up here? 
And on top of that, it's turning left anyway. So you're gonna wait no matter what. Fucking idiots. This will be a left turn, and then we'll go. Yeah, you screen. 